What's up guys? I'm here with my homie Tyler. What's up? We are doing something pretty cool out today. Super chill, nothing crazy. My friend Tyler is thinking about getting a Mark 7. So he wants to test fit his subs to see if they fit in the GTI. And uh, if he wants to go with a wagon or a GTI. So we're trying to help him out, hook him up, get the idea for the Mark 7 community. So if you guys have any ideas or suggestions as to why he should go hatch over wagon, let him know so he can read the comments, okay? But first things first, we are gonna take his sub box from his BMW, which he is selling guys. So if you guys wanna maybe pick up a BMW, he is selling it. It's a pretty neat car. It's lowered. It's got some, some nice looking uh, five series goodness to it. Ciao, Euro Rice. You guys might have seen this car. It's come to a couple of shows with us. Tyler's been on the channel quite a bit, so. All right, and we're back. Having some issues with my batteries. Um, wait, don't buy third party. Too broke to invest in real Canon ones, so. <laughs> Back to what I was talking about. You might notice back here, I have some new headrests for the back. I bought these three headrests. I should have only bought two because you only can fit two. But I'll show you in a second. These are a different kind, I guess you can call them the Euro type of headrests because they allow you to have a more open field of view when reversing. If you, want, you know you actually want to look behind you instead of using the rear view camera like a weirdo. They look pretty nice. They match the car and it gives a more sleek look on the inside. So let's take a look. As you can see from the inside, it sits a lot lower. It's not the high headrest. It comes down and angles down. So it sits flush on the, uh, the seat. Looks nice. And it actually matches the middle one right there. The middle one is a stock one. So as you can see, that one has the red stitching on it and these are just black. So I do need to have these match the, uh, the stitching on there just to make it look a little bit nicer. But that's the stock one. And as you can see, it doesn't go down as low as these aftermarket ones do. So the only problem though, unfortunately, is that this one has shorter spokes than these ones. So these ones actually come up quite a bit, very, very high. And these ones <sighs> barely come up that high. So that is the issue. We can't actually put the third one that came with this kit in the middle because there's not enough um, space to work with inside the seat. So that is an unfortunate uh, thing I had to find out because I did pay for three of them a set of three um, They did sell sets of two. So I should have just bought the set of two So I have one left if you guys want it comment down below message me on Facebook, you know, whatever I'll give it away um, But these are much nicer. They look really clean It's basically what it looks like from the inside. That's all the way up. So yeah, I can't do it with one hand Yeah, they, they go all the way down and they look very nice and flush so now you have a nice clear opening to see out of your back window. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna take out my, uh, which this right here is actually a gun safe, if you guys didn't notice. I'm gonna take out the gun safe from the back of my car and then we're gonna test fit the subwoofer. Yeah, so like this is just like a little piece of cardboard to keep it from rattling around. Um, and then it just like slides off this bracket right here. So the bracket might get in the way. Um, we'll have, we'll see. If it fits into here though, you know yeah, you have enough space. It's gonna be pretty flush. Yeah, we'll see how close it is. We'll move this out of the way. Oh yeah, dude, you got God. space. Perfect almost, dude. Wow. So that's his nicely crafted custom little glass, and this is actually some nice wood. But yeah, you even have some space to spare, bro. You could definitely rock that. Fuck. I don't <laughs> know what I want, though. Now, now you gotta choose, would you want a wagon or a GTI? GTI, you don't really have much space left to work with, to be honest. Let's see if this, does this work? Oh yeah, that'll definitely work, bro. Cause that just Cause sits. Basically, I want to hide because of school. Yeah, you don't want people stealing that shit. No. This will just sit right in here on top. Oh, right perfect. There. Perfect, dude. I probably wouldn't even have the strings connected. If nah, yeah, you're good. Because like, when you open it, if you have the strings connected, mm -hmm. it goes up. Yeah. No. And if not, then it just stays down. It's pretty sturdy, so I could even put something there. Yeah, you could, you could definitely. And I could even it. put something underneath here. To... I would say like like maybe like 10 pounds max on here. But you know what? Good. I could probably put something underneath here, like add an extension. Oh yeah, yeah you top. can custom a whole bunch of shit. You, if you wanted to, you can even actually use this as a template and build like a wooden piece on top. Or I if could you to do that. Got him wanting it now. Now he wants to go with the Mark Seven. So hopefully well, we can get him in the gang. Cause that'd be Wait, cool. You just didn't know 
if it was gonna be the GTI or the wagon. GTI, bro, GTI. Oh yeah, I don't even think I mentioned this, guys, but the GTI is back together. She's running, so that's cool. Uh, me and my friend Jesse uh, actually did it. We did it in like legit three, four hours, but it was already getting dark, so we just wanted to get it done, get it out of the way, and just get it running because I it had been sitting there for forever. So we actually didn't vlog any of it, unfortunately. I have some clips on my phone of like when I started it and stuff, so I'll include those in the vlog. You good? Yep. Alright guys, initial start, we have her back together. Let's see if it works. Dead battery. <sighs> Gotta be <laughs> shitting me, dude. Gotta be fucking shitting me. Alright. First start up after a tireless night. <laughs> GTI is back up and running, guys. But for the most part, this this is just what you what you get. This is what you see. But she's back, so do you want to start it? <laughs> you know I don't drive manual. <laughs> but you know how to start it though. You just you just press the clutch in and then yeah. go. All right, let me get you the key. That's as far back as I want it to go. Oh. <laughs> Give it a go, buddy. I'm amused by that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where the fuck is the key? Oh, dude, that would destroy my knees. Oh, <laughs> you can tall as fuck, yeah. What? So clutch in. That's him. Make sure it's in neutral. So you don't fuck it. You gotta pull back a little bit. There yeah. you go. Now wiggle it around. There you go, that's neutral. Uh, no, fuck it. <laughs> You're good, dude. <laughs> Alright, just start it? Yep, just go ahead and start it up. Yeah, you gotta push hard. There you go. There you go. Now release. Woo! Yeah, you can release it. It's a neutral. Oh, oh yeah. She's running. Looking good. So the only thing that's pretty much residual is if you can look right here, you'll see there's like a little crack in the bumper. Crack right here. Other than that, it's not really that bad. Bumper is pretty good, except there is no actual uh, belly pan. Yeah, the belly pan's right here. And uh, on the splitter, you'll see that on the splitter, it still has the fucking under tray from the bumper. So that, that actually ripped off with the, the splitter. So there's the splitter. And that's pretty much all the parts that came off the car, guys. So you have your fucking intercooler, the radiator, charge pipes, uh, turbo, or no, like the uh, throttle pipe. Um, yeah, there's a throttle pipe. Um, fucking the core support. Took off some of the fender liner that was fucked. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a lot of shit, guys. I had to do oil change, oil pan. So it wasn't a small job. It, it took uh, took some effort and uh, and took uh, quite a bit of money, actually. And I'm, I'm super, super, super proud of the Grizzly Gang for coming together and helping me get that GoFundMe together so that we could actually get this thing back on the road because if it wasn't for you guys, it'd still be on blocks in the parking lot. So I really appreciate that. You guys did outstanding work. So out of that thousand dollars, we actually donated half of that to the uh, Hurricane Harvey victims, which we actually went through two corporations. I did half of it to USO and half of it to UNICEF. If you guys want to learn more about those organizations, go ahead and look them up online. They're great, they're reliable, and they actually donate most of their proceedings to the charity, unlike other corporations that just keep most of it for themselves and give like 10 cents to the dollar. I'm really, really happy that it's back up. It looks amazing. Uh, it well, <laughs> it doesn't have the splitter on it right now, but uh, Chris from Flow Designs did send me another splitter. Yes, guys. And not just the splitter, but the actual entire arrow kit. So like side skirts, the like spats for the back and everything. It's gonna look pretty dope. I'm gonna wait until I put that on though, because there's a couple things I wanna do first, as in the customer diffuser, and also I need to lift the car a little bit to run the splitter because as I said, the car is not too low. Like the fitment, everything is fine. The oil pan does not hit the ground. It has never bottomed out, ever. The only issue was the splitter was 
lower than the rest of the car. So when the splitter hit, it pushed the splitter up and into the rest of the car and the splitter hit everything. And actually the splitter was what hit the oil pan and cracked it from the front. So the oil pan never bottomed out. Car is not too low. It was just the splitter that was low in comparison to the right height. So without the splitter, car is completely fine. It's not gonna bottom out. There are no issues. Once I raise the car some more, get a better, uh, better fitment on the wheels because I want to get uh, some new tires actually pretty soon. So once I lift the car, I'm going to get some meatier tires to fill up that profile, which will make the car look nicer as well as keep a better ride height. Um, custom diffuser, splitter, all that stuff will go on. So we have a lot of stuff coming very soon in the next couple of months. So I would say by like maybe March or April, we'll have everything on. So it is going to take some time, guys. And as you know, normal people understand is that <laughs> modding a car takes time. I know you guys want to see everything immediately, but please be patient because not everything happens overnight. Everything takes money, time, etc. So it will happen, just not immediately. But I love you guys. Stick around, okay? It should be interesting. So this box came to me from Demir, I think his name is. I'll have to put his link in the description below. But he's a homie on the Mark 7 pages. Uh, private party stuff, pretty good stuff. But these are the aftermarket ones right here. So you see how long those are. And that's just all black, no red stitching or anything. And these are the stock ones that came with the US Mark 7. So these ones obviously have much shorter sticks. Uh, and the angle is a lot different. So these are the ones I took out of the car, the two stock ones, in trade of these so that these can be flush and I can see out the back of the window, you know, for safety reasons. Plus, it does look better in my opinion. But you see that the difference in length on those right there, it's quite a bit different. So this one, these are all the same length for all three of them in the kit. And unfortunately, this is too long for the middle one. So if you wanted to fit this in the middle, you'd have to chop these, uh, you don't have to grind them down pretty much, cut them off to make it fit. So that's why there's only two of them in the car right now. And I left the stock one in there. I think oh, so. You got it, nice, strong man. Yo, that Grizzly Gang merch right there, guys. Check it out, we got a new decal coming soon. Stay hooked on the website, guys, www.grizzly-industries.com. Link right here because that is gonna have a new decal loaded soon, guys. And this is a limited quantity. I'm only selling like 100 and then that's it. Different design. So the old design that you saw right there is no longer for sale, um, at least not for a long time. So whoever, you know, those of you OG guys, the Grizzly Gang members who have this shit, y'all OG. Like, you, that's not coming back for a long time. So take pride. Thank you for buying. Good news though about the car being back up is now we can actually start finally doing with the messing with like the performance stuff. I've been talking with George and we finally have everything set up, good to go, JV4 is running right. We got the AFR wire, we're gonna install that soon. And once I put that on, that takes like two minutes. I won't really show that, I guess maybe later. Once that's all in, I can pull up the app. And now that I have the water meth, that's the next thing we're gonna install. So stay tuned for that. Once the water meth goes on, we can start custom tuning and like doing some real good performance gains. I and mean, we're talking like, at least, at least I'm hoping I've been told 300 wheel, if not around 320. So that would be awesome. So after we get all that installed, we're gonna do another dyno test and see where we went from 217 wheel horsepower to hopefully breaking 300 wheel. That's the goal. After that, engine mount, training mount, get some new tires, get it all sticky and grippy, and we'll be having some fun, guys. So look forward to that. Okay, so it's like one in the morning right now, so I'm outside. Um, it's still gonna be semi-quiet for the fam and the neighbors. But uh, pretty much just wanted to end the video and let you guys know that I'm going to be in L.A. this weekend. If you guys want to meet up, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Let's do a little meetup, guys. Let's hang out. Let's cruise. It doesn't really matter what it is. But, you know, I'm just down to meet some cool people, some Mark 7 bros out there. So... Ha <laughs> ha! Are you ready, kids? <laughs>